everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pavlo. Ruba is here and we are in Odessa. We came here for a few days so we invite you to join us and spend these beautiful weekends here. Welcome to Odessa, the Pearl of the Black Sea, a beautiful coastal city known for its vibrant culture, historical architecture, nightlife and breathtaking beaches. Life in Odessa has always been full of colors, joy and zest for celebration. Even during the war the spirit of the people here has remained unbreakable. Despite the hardships, the local residents continue to go about their day with inspiring resilience. The city's central streets are filled with the laughter, music and the aroma of local delicacies. Odessa has always been a melting pot of different cultures, and its people refuse to let the war define their lives. The mood in Odessa is different. It looks more relaxed but at the same time more tense than in other cities. More relaxed because this is a beach resort city, the vacation destination of choice for many Ukrainians foreigners before and during the war. More tense because of the regular Russian attacks on the city and region, destroying most of the critical port facilities including 200,000 tons of grain, they continue to terrorize city and the region on a daily basis. The recent attacks also hit the Orthodox Cathedral, which was seriously damaged, but it daily renovated by the local people. Besides the recent attacks from the air, there are still Russian warships and submarines operating in the Black Sea, as well as God knows how many mines floating out there. Despite all these facts, the sea has always been a source of comfort and tranquility for the people of Odessa. Families gather on the beaches, Kids build sand castles, and couples stroll hand in hand, finding solace in the sound of crashing waves. This is the place where, in autumn, here was a sign danger mines. And now you see, seems it's clear, people are resting, kids are coming. Bitches, this is for what Odessa was always famous and this is why we and other Ukrainians come here every summer. Odessa beaches were officially closed since the beginning of Russia full-scale invasion, due to the mining of beaches to prevent a Russian amphibious landing. However, people continue to visit the beaches and swim. Several vacationers have been killed by exploding mines. So this summer, almost after one and a half years since the invasion, six Odessa beaches were officially open for swimming. Such beaches were inspected and had specialness in the water to prevent mines from entering swimming areas. Beaches will be closed during air raid siren, in case of discovery of suspicious objects and during the south from two points. Of course, usually before the war, uh, these beaches had much more people, like there was almost no place to lie where food courts that are next to the beach, some of them closed, some of them are working, for example this one wine, beer, cocktails, some snacks, coffee, this one with, with fish and uh, snacks for the beer and other alcohol. But of course, because of the war, many things are not well maintained, are not colored, like here this is Brighton Beach but it's not Brighton it's bright on bright on beach so, and you know that Odessa is such a romantic city where before the war like almost all Ukraine come here for summer vacation in Odessa, in Odessa regions to find someone 
to date or maybe not to date. Yeah. Officially, it was opened about five or six beaches in Odessa. And those beaches, they have special nets, they had special inspections, they were cleaned of the mines. But uh, I'm not sure about this one, because I don't see here dead nets. Mm. It says swimming is forbidden. But of course there are many people who don't care and swim. And on the one hand I understand them because it's almost two years. But on the other hand it's still dangerous. And as for transportation in Odessa, as always, we use scooters. Maximum speed is 20 kilometers. But even with 20 kilometers, we are faster than no. people who ride bikes. Yes, of course, would. <laughs> not on the hills. Not a turbo regime. And this is the beach where officially allowed to swim. You can see this mesh against the mines. There are family who rides three people on one scooter. Luba, where is your swimming suit? Yeah, because it's the coolest weather today. We didn't film yesterday because it was plus 36, 37 and we decided that it's, uh, today is cooler, so it's better to film today. This is an example of closed beach, you see, no one's here. This is Arcadia, once the most popular resort area within the city. Arcadia includes a couple of city beaches with number of services for summer rest, apartments for rent, malls, shops, restaurants, cafes, nightclubs, aqua park, bars and other resort infrastructure. Without any doubts, the atmosphere in this is unique, but it has a stark contrast to the city's vibrant life and peacetime. By the way, we also filmed here last fall, so you can find that video in the description below. And now let's return back to the city center.
Behind every great city lies its people, and Odessa is no exception. From the picturesque pitches to ever-present fear, this city continues to face challenges head-on. Despite the war and everyday danger, local citizens are showing that even in the darkest times, the human spirit can shine bright. They embrace life, celebrate culture, and find joy in the little things. You can hear a raid siren outside and wedding ceremony at the same time. This is Ukrainian reality. This is Deripasuska street, pedestrian area, so this road is closed for cars and on the right left side you can see food cafes, KFC, McDonald's, coffee shops, restaurants, clothes shops and we are heading to eat Ukrainian food in Buzata Hata. Zata Hata is a popular Ukrainian chain of fast food eatery which offers delicious dishes at reasonable prices. It's like McDonald's but with homemade healthy food. So, we've took the full set without salads. This is mine. Potato cutlet, pancakes, uh, this is uh, salyanka, kampot, and Luba has rice with wedges, uh, pancake and salyanka. And for both meals we paid 13 dollars. I'm sure that just few of you know what is Solyanka. So Solyanka is a soup with uh, sausages, pork meat, with uh, pickles, carrots and lemon. Yeah, it's tasty. It's my favorite soup. I like Solyanka even mm, more than borscht. Also, Luba has a big steaks. No? Such a big with cheese inside. So, our lunch is over and now let me show you where we stayed during our first day in Odessa. We found this place in Bukin, it's near the Rybasevska street and just next to the National Academic Theatre. This building is from 19th century and let me show you how the entrance inside looks like. Old. Of course, it seems that this building had your renovations from that time. But it still has this 18th century size. Because usually our apartments they are smaller. I mean this public area, common area. And it seems that on the right side, on each floor, there is a long <laughs> corridor. The average price for the daily rent in Odessa is $25 per night for two, no matter it's a hotel or flat. As for this one, just in the city center, we paid 1000 hryvnia or $27. Other days here were busy, so for the next days we stayed at the cheaper place. I'll show you that in our next video. Hello, I'm a reporter. I am a reporter from, from YouTube. We rent here one bedroom apartment for $25 per night. You can see bathroom almost the same as we have in our apartment. And kitchen. By the way, the ceiling high you see is maybe like 4 meters. And this is the view just in front of a uh, wedding palace. This video is coming to the end, so let's take a walk through the evening central street and summarize. Odessa is awesome. Despite the regular attacks and the war which has now lasted nearly a year and a half, people of Odessa are trying to carry on with their daily lives. They refuse to let fear dictate the daily routine, people continue to celebrate traditions, pursue dreams and create a better future. Most cafes and restaurants remain open, people walk the evening street and enjoy spending time with their families. Surely there will be people who will say, how dare Ukrainians have fun, have any parties or go to the beach and swim in the sea. I hope that only a tiny percent of people think this way. 
and there is most likely something wrong with them. Every day for anyone in Ukraine can be the last. You never know what to expect and what can happen in 10 minutes, this night or the next day. While we were here, the city and the region was tracked every night. So I believe everyone understands that our people deserve to have these moments of joy as nobody else. We don't need a lot, we find joy in the little things. It's what keeps us going. Therefore, many thanks to those who support Ukraine and Ukrainians all over the world. Big thanks to my patrons and people who support us on Buy Me A Coffee page. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and until the next time. Bye.